Hello and welcome to episode 19 of the No Code series. We're going to pick up the pace now, okay? So we've done enough fannying around trying to get this landing page sorted in the right way with a padding and things like that. I think we get the picture of what we can do as a No Code developer. In this particular episode, like I say, we're going to pick up the pace and we're going to start to link these buttons to a, a different page. Um, to be able to bring up the kind of content that we want. Now, we don't have pages for the likes of the vacation requests, and we don't have a page for the calendar. Of course, we could just show all this in the home page, of course, or landing page, but we're going to be different and create brand new pages for them. So, when we start, we're going to look at... Um, there's a couple of changes I've done in the background first that I'm going to just quickly show you. So, I've set some uh, visibility kind of settings and stuff or style stuff on these buttons uh, to make the buttons look a bit better. We're then going to um, link these buttons to do something. So we're going to um, put on a, a on-click event on the each of these buttons so they go to a different page. So here we go. Try and keep up. <laughs> here we go. So I'm just going to start the timer. And by the way, Chuck's back. Chuck is awake. He's got a welcome back. He's he's back and looking at what we're doing, so he's happy. As, of course he's happy. He's always happy. What a guy. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Right, time has started. First thing I've got to show you is what I've done. So, I have, in the grid, I put a gap at the top. So there's a nice gap between the buttons and the container above. I've also justified the content so it's nice and centralised. I put a padding between each of these rows as well on the grid, so that's all nice and split out. So it looks like this, all nice and dandy. Right, let's look on to what we're doing next. So what I do want to do is I do want to create a couple of pages ready for the list and uh, for the um, for the lists and for the calendar. So let's quickly do that. I'm going to create a blank page. Thank you very much. So uh, vacation requests. I really like to call it leave requests in the table, but you know what I mean. Page created. Thank you very much. And then you're going to start from a blank um, uh, a blank uh, canvas, in effect. Um, blank page again, please. Uh, vacation. What do I call it? Schedule? No. Calendar. Okay. Create. They're just going to be, at the moment, just blank pages for us to come back to. Let's go back to our landing page. And let's get these buttons to do something. Three and a half minutes to go. Okay. Right, so new vacation button. Let's just go to the events. Um, oh, the other thing I did as well, by the way, for these buttons, is I've just changed them to large. Um, just so they look a bit better on the page. Right, button click event. What do we want to happen on button click? We want to go to a destination, please. Um, okay, select your destination. Pages. We want to go to the catalog item page for us to um, go and select it. So, what's annoying with this is that it's asking for a sys ID and not asking to, you know, go and find it from available uh, item. Uh, sorry, items based on our application scope. So that is fairly annoying. Um, what I have done in advance of this is I have got the sys ID for us. Boom. Okay. So we have a destination into the catalogue and um, I will add that. So there we go. We will test that out in a minute. Next, and I appreciate the speed in this. Can you keep up with the speed? Vacation list button. Events. On click. Destination. Select your destination to a page, please. We want to go to our new page, vacation requests. Okie dokie. Add. And last of all, we have the calendar button. Events. Add event. Now, I don't know too much about these other kind of, you know, on-click types and different bits and pieces in here. So I'm sure there's some really funky stuff you can do. I'm not going to go into depth into that. Um, UI Builder looks, you know, quite considerable <laughs> um, so let's go into the pages for calendar add save okay 
So we should really have three functioning buttons. Let's refresh the screen. One thing I do want to come to is how to edit this header bar in here. That's definitely on my list of things to do as well. So we will come back to that. So we have our three buttons, lovely jubbly. Oh, we don't have any hint text on them, but that's fine. Let's just test that they actually go somewhere, shall we? So, new vacation, please. Awesome. So it's taken us to a catalog page um, for our request leave uh, record producer. Um, and here are our different options to, to fill out as part of that, whether it's vacation, sickness, um, you know, the dates and justification, if you remember all of that good stuff. That clearly works. Brilliant. Next is we have vacation requests. Let's go to that. And of course, we have a blank page because we have not defined it. Let's go back. Vacation calendar. Also a blank page. Brilliant. So that's good. We have 23 seconds left. I'm going to do something very quickly just to add on to this particular episode. I know this has been quick, but we need to pick up the pace. I want to just go to that page. Let's switch the page back to calendar. Uh, sorry, vacation requests. And I'm going to add in a brand new container. Um, let's just have a flex container, right? For so oh, we're pros at this now. Look at this. So I want to have a container to show you know the requests. So requests container okay flex box absolutely fine width 100 percent brilliant because it's going to go across the page um background um hopefully we'll see the background i'm not sure but we'll we'll find out won't we i think was it that one we used on the home page i think so might be wrong but we have a background if we find it <laughs> Let's add a component into there. So what we do want is a list. Do we have a nice list thingy? Yeah, we do. Simple list. Oh, look at that. We do have a nice background, a green background there. Awesome. So let's give it a name. First thing we should do is always give it a name. So my... Uh, so this should be a vacation request list. Okay. And we have a title, which will be this title at the top here. So this should be my my vacation requests. A table. We want to go to our new table, which is leave request. Now we've got two different filters in here. So we've got a fixed filter and we've got an edit filter. So fixed, obviously, presumably they cannot change. So let's do open by is dynamic me so it's just going to show their request uh, vocation uh, vacation requests and the edit filter which they can change is to yeah active is true so let's just we may as well just show the active vacation requests but allow them to change it if they so wish right columns so do we want to show um columns uh, of course we do that's not even a question is it really um so uh, vacation type was it leave type so i called everything leave what an idiot um is that just gonna add that in there we go leave type we've got in there um so leave start date we want leave uh, how did it know it from that okay leave end date uh, justification do we really want to show that probably not but let's add it in anyway and mm, state probably state okay we'll change this about if we oh that's annoying you have to do it one by one so that's a bad experience isn't it um, so leave start date okay We'll change the order of these as well. Leave end date. Okay. Um, what do you want to start with here? You probably want to go leave type first and then start date, end date, state. Let's not have the justification. That's just going to muddy the water. 
group. Do we want to group by column with these? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you want to group by state. There we go. So that'll show, you know, all the ones that are currently awaiting approval, which ones are in draft, I guess, or which ones have been approved. That sounds nice to me. Um, so we're not going to hide anything in here. I think that looks all good to me, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm going to save that. We're just going to test it out and then end the video. I know it's been a longer video. And we've accomplished quite a bit in this one. Um, but I did want to just give it a go. So landing, vacation requests. Um, let's go into it. And there we go. So we've got my vacation requests. Obviously, if there was some in here, we can then, it's already grouped by state. Um, presumably, um, I would probably have to do something to enable them to be able to change the filter. Um, but that looks good to me. That looks good. It's got the type, start, end, state. Brill. So, right, we're going to leave this one here. Um, in the next episode, we will maybe move away from Portal. Hmm. We will maybe start to look at some logic about what happens after this has been requested. So this needs to go for approval, for example. We need to maybe configure a flow and the state flow and how that all works. Um, and then this will start to, you know, all tie together. So we may well come back to the portal to do some additional work. Well, we have to for the likes of the calendar to see if we can achieve that. That might be a limitation for us, by the way. Um, but yes, we'll leave it here. Join us for the next one.